Hi everybody, I'm Dr. John and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be talking about anxiety. Nervousness and excitement can be good in moderation. It can help you do well on an interview, it can help you do well on a test or a presentation, but if it becomes too overwhelming, that's called anxiety. In this video, I'll be discussing some ways for you to manage your anxiety. The first tip that I have for you is a breathing exercise. I prescribe this exercise to all of my patients who suffer from anxiety and panic attacks. It's very easy to do. Uh, it's called the 478 method. So basically, here's what you do. You inhale for four seconds, uh, and then you hold your breath for seven seconds, and you exhale for eight seconds, okay? So we're gonna try this a couple of times here, okay? So inhale for four seconds, one, two, three, four, and hold your breath for seven seconds, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and exhale for eight seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And inhale for four seconds. One, two, three, four. And hold your breath for seven seconds. And exhale for eight seconds. Repeating this five to 10 times, is gonna help you with your anxiety a lot. Uh, and it has, it'll even help you sleep a little bit better too. Tip number two is exercise. Scientists have found that regular aerobic exercise has been shown to reduce tension, improve and elevate mood, increase your self-confidence, and improve your sleep. Five minutes of aerobic exercise has been shown to have anti-anxiety effects. If you want to learn more about other benefits of exercise, I'll leave a link below where you can find out more about the benefits of exercise. Tip number three is mind-based stress reduction programs. They have been proven to reduce your anxiety. YouTube has a lot of free videos on meditation and yoga. Um, I know a lot of my patients use Headspace app. Uh, it has a free version where you get a limited number of videos per day uh, and it also has a paid version where you can get unlimited access to all of their content. Tip number four is writing down your thoughts. Writing down what makes you anxious not only gets it out of your head, but it also makes it less daunting. It also helps you prioritize your problems, concerns, and fears. It also helps you identify your symptoms and your triggers. That brings us to the next point. Tip number five is identifying your triggers. Sometimes they can be very obvious, like drinking alcohol, drinking caffeine, or smoking, but other times they can be less obvious. Long-term problems, such as finances or work-related issues, can take a long time to figure out. Is it because it's a due date? Is it because of a person? Is it because of a situation? And that's when you might need some extra support. I'm talking about your friends or behavioral therapists. Once you identify the trigger, try to avoid it as much as you can. If you are unable to avoid the trigger, try to use one of the other techniques that we talked about in this video to manage your stress. Tip number six is talk to your friendly neighborhood behavioral therapist. Behavioral therapists have a slew of different techniques that they can use to reduce anxiety and stress. Cognitive behavioral therapy is just one of those techniques. 
It can help improve your thinking about your stress and how you react towards stress-inducing situations. And the last tip that I have for you is talk to your family doctor about it. If none of the other techniques have worked, it may be time to start medications. There are a lot of new safe and effective medications that are used to reduce anxiety. Talk to your doctor to see which medication is right for you. And with that, we come to a conclusion of this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, please share it with your friends. My goal is to make videos about relevant medical topics that are useful to you, to empower you to take your own health into your own hands. If you have any health related questions, please leave them in the comment section down below and that might be the next inspiration for me to make a video. See you all in the next video.